Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on creating labels and exporting data in Realist. With access to data for 99.9% .9 of parcels in the United States, the marketing possibilities Realist provides to agents is endless. At the touch of a button, you can have access to sales, mortgage, tax, and owner information on virtually any property in your coverage area. Once you've gathered that information, it's time to use Realist to contact the owners of those homes and use that knowledge to your advantage. Mailing labels and exporting data into spreadsheets can be great ways to market yourself to potential customers and to solicit business. Let's say that you're a new realtor in the area and just sold a home in a neighborhood where you're eager to do more business. Now that you've sold one property here, you want to spread the word and Realist can help you do it. Let's put together a list of people to send a just sold mailing to. First, let's find the area you're interested in marketing to. Using the tools at the top, you can draw a shape and only find the properties located within that shape. You can draw a rectangle or a circle, but in this case, we'll use the polygon shape so that you can custom draw the shape in a specific area. Notice that once you've finished drawing the shape, the name of the shape has been added to the quick search tab that's currently open. That means that you're now searching exclusively in that shape, not the entire county. Note that shapes can be renamed and even saved with searches as well. At this point, if we run the search as is, we'll find every property in that shape. You might consider narrowing your search and making it more targeted. If your aim is to find people who want to list their home with you, it would help to find people who've lived in their home long enough to consider selling it. Using the settle date search attribute, I'll change the search operator to is less than. Then I'll enter a date of January 1st, 2010. That would mean that as of today, anyone I find in this search will have lived in their house for a minimum of 10 years. This will target your mailing more narrowly. Let's run the search. I've come up with 72 matches. Let's now switch to a split view and take a look at my properties in the list. Scrolling through the list may cause you to remove certain properties from your mailing list. Like this property that's already actively listed with another realtor, for example. We'll uncheck it. Once you finalize your list, at the bottom of the screen, hit the Labels button. The pop-up will then let you make a few choices about the type of labels you want to print and what goes on them. First, you have the choice of 2 across and 10 down or 3 across and 10 down labels. We'll choose 3 across. Next, you can use either all capital letters or mixed case to address your labels. We'll choose mixed case. Next comes an important selection. Do you address the labels to the physical address of the property or the owner's mailing address? In the case of the just sold mailing that we're doing now, you would want to choose owner mailing address. You want to reach the people who are authorized to sell this home. Sending to the property address may find renters or even vacant homes. And of course, if a house is owner occupied, you'll still reach the owners of that property. Next comes a series of checkboxes that allow you to insert the owner name onto the labels as they appear on the deed for the home, include foreign addresses, should any exist in your export, eliminate any duplicate labels should they exist. This way, if you have an owner who owns multiple properties, you'll only print out one label for that owner. And you can add a custom field for your label as well. This can be used with the owner name or without. Whatever you choose to put in this box will show either at the top of the label or will appear below the owner name from the deed if you've chosen to use both. Let's insert future home seller into this box. Lastly, you can choose a custom range of properties to print, or if you're close to reaching your export limit for the month, you can use all of your remaining exports to print as many labels as you can. Please note that the monthly export limit may be different than what you see here, and your export count will also reset at the beginning of each calendar month. Once you've finished with your label selections, hit Create. Labels will open in a rich text file format. This means that no matter what word processing program you use, it should be able to open the file. You're now ready to put your labels in the printer, print them out, and affix them to your mailing. Now let's close out of these labels. Please note that Realist does not save your exports, so you'll want to save them locally if you plan to use them again. Next, let's use the Export button. Here you have two choices, Quick and Customize. Quick allows you to export to a CSV spreadsheet file any fields that are currently available in the grid. 
Customize allows you to choose any fields you want for export. Choose your export fields by clicking the checkboxes next to each one. Then they'll be added to the Selected Attributes section at the right. You can even save your export templates, at which point they'll be added to the Exports dropdown at the top of the screen. We'll use the Owner Mailing Export that's been created previously. Now we'll hit Export. Your exports will be created in a CSV file, which in this case will open in any spreadsheet program that supports this type of file. You've now exported all the fields needed to create a mailing. You may use a mailing service that can create your labels from here. You might want to do a mail merge. Or, if exporting other data, you can run formulas or tables in your spreadsheet program. No matter what you choose to do with your exported data, Realist makes it fast, easy, and convenient to find the data you need and then distribute it in many different ways. Check out some of our other videos to see all of the helpful features Realist has to offer.